The manual opening system will only work on one side of the rafter. Otherwise, it will be in the way of the louvers. Ensure you are installing it on the correct side. If you have a motorized version, please refer to the optional motor installation instructions in your next step. Slide the manual opening system onto the drive shaft pin in the middle rafter. Mount the manual opening system flush with the bottom of the rafter by opening and closing it. Secure it with three screws. Measure each dimension between the rafters and take the dimensions from where it will be connected to the drive shaft pin. Measure from the manual opening system to the opposing rafter. Cut your drive shaft one inch less than the dimension taken in the previous step. Use a deburring tool to remove the inside burred edges of the drive shaft. Ensure all the burrs and residual powder coating is completely removed. Prior to connecting the drive shaft, ensure that the louver brackets inside the rafters are fully opened. Connect the drive shaft pin in the middle rafter. Always start with the middle rafter. On the outside rafter, slide the outside pin inside the drive shaft. Secure the drive shaft to the pin with a number 8 screw. Do not hit or hammer the drive shaft pins with anything. You may want to lubricate it with graphite or another type of lubricant. Leave a 1 inch protrusion of the pin on both the exterior rafters. This will enable removal should you wish to disassemble your patio cover in the future. Do not use any hammers or heavy tools on the shaft or on the pins as this will cause irreparable damage. Connect the rafters to the brackets with the remaining screws. Follow this process for each side of all the remaining brackets. Test the function of the rafter mechanism to make sure it is functioning smoothly.